Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I got an email from Simon, and he was asking if I knew the difference between 720p and 1080i in respect to high definition signals related to video and usually HD TVs. Well, first of all, let's let's explain that P in 720p stands for progressive and I in 1080i stands for interlaced. Now, traditional television is interlaced. And well, okay, for example, have you ever seen when someone films like an old <laughs> An old television, my god, I grew up with black and white televisions. Yes, I'm that old. And sometimes it would appear that there's this bar that's slowly running up the screen if they're filming the television screen, the, the tube. Um, that is because the image isn't actually flashing as you see it. Your eyes are tricked to believe it's a single image. But, as a matter of fact, it's an interlaced image. So, during one, uh, I guess, impression of an image, it's the even lines, and the other impression is odd lines, and they're flipped back and forth so fast, it's interlaced. Monitors used to be interlaced too, believe it or not, you know, way back in the day when people still used CRTs. So, <laughs> oh man, I'm getting way too old. Okay, so that, that's interlaced. Progressive is just the opposite. One image is displayed at a time. So the difference between 720p and 1080i, you have seven t 720 lines of a progressive image versus 1080 or 1080 lines interlaced. Which is better? You know, I really can't tell the difference. And, and some people argue that they can see the difference, but they must be superhuman because I sure can't. Uh, the difference between a 720p image and a 1080i image, generally speaking, from what I've been told, uh, sports and live sports or, or recorded sports in HD tend to look better in 1080i because it can throw a lot more action and there's a lot more detail on the screen. Um, but for the most part, I think a lot of people are going to be just as satisfied with a 720p image just as high quality, it just happens to be a progressive image rather than an interlaced series of lines that create a single image. It's, it's, a, it's an, an optical illusion, if you will, to the nth degree. Now some people are probably saying, well, 1080p is better. You know what? I can't tell the difference between 720p and 1080p. Did I say 1020p? If I did, I meant 1080p. Sorry. There's so many numbers flying around. So the bottom line is, uh, what's better? kind of depends on what your eye sees. Uh, I think that 720p is just fine for a lot of people and to tell you the truth there's really not a lot of 1080p content out there that well specifically been optimized for that. Now maybe about three years down the road when all this hardware starts to come down in price and there's a lot more content available for these high resolution uh, monitors and televisions and screens you know maybe 1080p or beyond is going to be a better option. Uh, for now, 720p or 1080i are going to look the same to most people, and in which case I say, if you can, uh, go with a progressive image. It's going to be a lot easier on the eyes, because the image is there at one point in time. It's not interlaced. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Thank you, Dennis Miller, for the quote.